Hello everyone, I'm Michael Kasberg with Level 10 Interactive. I'm covering a pretty basic module today, but if you're new to Drupal, this is a must-have. I'm going to walk you through using the page title module. For those of you who are new, there is a difference between the page title and the node title on your Drupal website. The node title is the bold lettering at the top of a content in a node, no matter what kind of content is in that node. A page title, on the other hand, is the string of words above the address bar in your browser. In Drupal, this is often the same as the node title because Drupal copies that text there automatically. The page title module allows the user to edit the page title regardless of the node title. So why would you want to do this? The main reason for wanting to have different page title and node titles is for better search engine optimization, or SEO. The page title module allows you to create a page title with targeted keywords while your attention grabbing node title stays the same. For example, your node title could be something that really reaches out to the customer, such as top 5 mountain bike buys for the holidays. Then your page title could uh, be optimized for search engine optimization uh, using a, a string of words something like great holiday deals on mountain bike seats, chains, lights, and brakes. So you can really get a lot of keywords in your page title. Another reason to use this module is for URL shortening. Using the same example, your URL, which is pulled from your node title, could be half as long as your page title, making it easier to share. Let's show this thing in action. Okay, so I have my, uh, my stock Drupal install here, and I've already gone over to Drupal.org and downloaded both the page title module and the token module. The page title module needs the token module to work. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, turn those two modules on. So we'll go uh, site building modules and come down here to the bottom and there's page title and token. We'll save that configuration. Now that I have the two modules installed, uh, we need to configure the page title module in order to use it. So we'll go up here to content management and select page title. And this is where you see all the different configurations for the page title module. Uh, the cool thing about this module is that it allows you to specify on which content types you have the two different options for page title and uh, node title. Uh, once you install the module, it usually comes with the content type story already selected. And uh, just for the sake of demonstration, we will leave that alone. So we'll save that configuration. And uh, now we want to create a piece of content. Using the example from the PowerPoint presentation, I'll create a story content about mountain bike deals during the holidays. So I'll create content story, and you'll see that the page title module has given us two separate places for titles. Uh, the first, just labeled title, is your no title, and that's where you're going to put your eye-catching, attention-grabbing title for your users. So I'll put top five holiday bicycle deals. The page title is going to be the title that you want to optimize for SEO. So we'll put affordable holiday deals on mountain bike seats, chains, lights, and brakes. And that's going to be your, uh, your targeted keywords to really uh, get that search engine traffic coming in. And uh, for the sake of demonstration, we'll put the same thing in the body just so you can see how this works. I'll go ahead and save that. And uh, let's just go back to the front page and you'll see the, uh, the attention grabbing no title is what you're seeing here. Once you click on your content type, let me drag this down and you can see that it's actually changed the page title. So the page title module has successfully allowed us to create one title for the user and another title specifically for SEO. I hope that with the help of the page title module, you'll be able to create more optimized page titles to really stand out in those search results. I know we use it all the time here at Level 10. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this demo, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section. Thank you.